Hey guys, welcome to the 15th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the circular pattern tool. And basically, the first thing that we want to accomplish is we want there to be 20 of these uh, triangles going all the way around the inside of the circle right here. Now, we could copy this, paste it, and then reposition it accordingly, but that would take forever. It's much easier to just use this circular pattern tool up here. So just go ahead and click this button right here. And as soon as you do so, you should see a circular pattern dialog just pop up. And the first thing that it has you do is basically just select the geometry that you want to copy. And for us, that would be this rectangle right here. And you could individually select um, each one of these sides and then the center point, but it's much easier to just draw um, a rectangle around it, which will just basically copy everything. So we're just going to do that, and as soon as I release, we see that it just copied everything right there. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is basically select the center point that it will revolve around, or the pattern will revolve around. And for us, that will just be the center point of this circle right here. So we're just going to go over to um, this button, click it, and then just go ahead and select the center point of this circle right here. So I'm just going to do so. And as soon as I do so, we see that a nice preview shows up of what our pattern will look like. And we said that there would be wanted there to be 20 of these uh, triangles going all the way around um, our circle. And right now there's only six. So we're just going to go over to this text box right here and type in the amount of triangles that we want around our uh, circle. And we want 20, so we're just going to type in 20 right there. And as soon as we type in um, anything different, we see that the preview updates. And now there are exactly 20 triangles going all the way around the inside of this circle right here. Alright, and you're probably wondering what this 360 degrees means. And that's basically just um, how many degrees the pattern rotates around. So we want it to go all the way around the circle, so we're just going to leave it at 360 degrees. But let me just quick show you what um, something else would look like. So say you want there to be, I don't know, like 9 triangles in between here and here. So that would be 180 degrees around. So we just type in 180 degrees right there, and we just type in 9. And we see that now there are nine triangles going 180 degrees around our entire circle. What if we wanted, uh, I don't know, four going um, only 90 degrees around our triangle? So now there are four triangles uh, within 90 degrees. All right, but like I said, we want there to be uh, 20, and we want them to go um, all the way around the triangle. And one last thing right here, uh, this button will basically just change the direction that your pattern is going in. And it doesn't really matter when you're going all the way around the circle, but if we were only going like 60 degrees around or something, and we change the direction, we see that it actually does matter. All right, so that's just something to keep in mind. But like I said, we want there to be um, 20 triangles going all the way around the entire circle, so we're just going to make it 360 degrees and 20 right in there. And then when you're satisfied with the pattern, just go ahead and click OK. And we see that that pattern is now actually there. There are now 20 triangles going all the way around on the inside of the circle here. And this pattern is very useful um, if you're making like a gear or something. You could just use the same concept with these triangles, only make them on the outside of the circle. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the circular pattern. Um, so see you guys.